my friends welcome back to falcons rc and we're going to keep building <coughs> the falcon 25 and what i'm gonna what we're going to be doing right now is installing the edf unit that i'm going to be using in it which is this delta v32 from eFly with the v32 engine on it in runner brushless so let's see how we're going to do this uh i had you know th this motor is going to go back here right and i built uh, this mount first for it i built this one before i got the motor in so my plan was basically to put the motor on it you know on the mount and then screw the mount here but the problem is the you see that, that there is not enough room on the back to screw the mount into it because this thing is pretty wide actually it's already touching that and it's almost on the air over here so i have to redesign the whole mount uh what i did you see right here this one is kicked back uh, i cut the the flat aluminum plates first and then i cut the the bottom the bottom one you know is a, just did the bend on it and the, at the moment these are just glue on place but i'm going to screw them you see, uh, this is just a flat bar, guys. Uh, see this flat aluminum bar? I got this one from Lowe's. It's one and a half inches thick and 16 uh, millimeter. I mean, yeah, 116, I think, thickness. Uh, one and a half inches width. So, you know, now that I have this one right here, kick back, I can put the engine on it, probably. And that's going to kick the the mount towards the front see now i can mount this puppy actually it can go further for right there right there that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be right here and i have enough clearance on the spanner and my mount is dead on so this is how this mount is gonna be and right now i'm gonna go outside and i'm going to drill some holes on this thing to secure it together uh, I'm sure at this point. Basically, I'm gonna just drill some holes here and here, two of them to screw this in place and secure it. Um, probably drill some holes on the bottom of this to secure it to the to the fuselage. So, okay, guys, uh, let me go outside and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, as you notice, I already pre drilled, <clears throat> I mean, drilled the holes on the bottom of the plate. To mount it into the fuselage and um, i already secured this size very nice right here so what i did i just did basically uh, was line up the mount perfectly you know center and square with the airplane and mark them holes into the fuselage see them right there so now i'm just going to drill these holes and secure the mount to the aircraft Okay, my friends, I installed the engine now in place. Uh, it's pretty secure, really. So, it ain't gonna go nowhere. And I have just enough clearance right here between that prop spanner or the fan spanner and the fuselage. And this thing, this motor doesn't have any give, you know, on the, on the shaft, so it won't move back or forth. So, that's pretty good. So now that it's secure, and I already marked my CG where they want it on the blueprint. Basic, I mean on the on the instructions with the with two batteries right here, two three cells on this place. I got a good CG, uh, basically, and still nose heavy. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna redo this hole inside. Uh, first of all, because this is all set up for fuel power. So I need to redo it and second of all because they cut these things wrong. Uh, this, this piece right here, the ribs inside the aircraft are actually too small for it. That's why you see this, you see this vent right here, see this hole that right there? It's because this rib is too small and when they put it in there, they didn't care of it, uh, about it and they just push the fiberglass until the glue dry and they left a big old hole there. You know on both sides of the aircraft you can see it on both sides right there so by me cutting this piece off is going to fix that problem so i'm going to cut that off this this one right here 
uh, flush on the bottom over here, flush right there, and get rid of this arch. And I'm going to glue a piece of balsa wood over it, uh, over that base wood right there. I'm going to glue this piece of balsa over it, and I'm going to secure my batteries into this. And I'm also going to build like a little servo mount over here at the front to mount the nose servo. So okay guys, uh, let me go ahead and do that and be right back. So check the pictures. Okay guys, uh, I was doing this, you know, uh, taking this frame off, as you notice I already started on it. And I figured, you know, I'm gonna try the heat gun to see if the glue will soften, you know, by hitting it. And it actually does. Uh, but you have to be careful though, because you don't want to hit it too much, because you're going to mess up your fiberglass. So I hit this point right here, uh, right here, and the glue just peeled right off. I mean, it just peeled off like caulking or something, and whenever it dries again, it's hard. But I mean, it, w it won't get liquid, you know, it just softens the joints, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and put my heat gun in here a little bit more. Okay, so be careful, because you don't want to over here. I want to take that piece out so I can trim it out level. Go ahead and do it real quick right here. Come right out. Put the camera down. Okay, the piece came right out. Uh, just, you know, just pull it, and the glue is still in there, as you can see. So I'm gonna heat it a little bit and just clear that glue, glue out of there. And now we can trim this. I can see where where it was glue on it. You know, can trim this flush and glue it back in place. And that way, my other balsa of wood is gonna be level. So let me go ahead and do that, guys. Okay, so I basically clean up the whole inside and cut this piece right here, so it will clear my balsa on the top of it. And put everything back in place basically on the same spot where it was before uh, no changes there and we're gonna put the balsa wood over it this one is gonna be a nice tray basically for the battery now and I can move it back and forth more and now we're going to install the servo which I'm actually just going to secure to this corner right here because the screws are pretty long to go all the, w all the way to the hardwood make a little jig over here for the front of the of the servo this one have a piece of hard wood on the top of it, which is what I'm going to be screwing the the servo into it. So it should be good enough. It's basically just glue against the fuselage uh, with some CA glue. And I pre-drill actually the holes on the base wood to make it easier for the screws to go into it. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, look at the weird shape of the wire that I'm going to be using. That's how it needs to be bent for it to work and this is the over override system for the servo which actually works pretty good really uh, it looks kind of cool too <laughs> anyhow guys uh, now I'm going to actually put some velcro straps inside the battery tray these ones are gonna be to secure the battery on place better uh, I screw these ones into the side of the firewall basically to the hardwood because uh, if I just glue them on place they can probably come off so I just it's more secure to to screw them into a hardwood okay guys uh, this thing is done basically I just need to fool around with the thrust tube I'm gonna test a couple of you know these foam cups and you know try to figure out one that works good for this setup over here and it's just about finding the right size basically uh, this little overdrive system works pretty good actually as you can see right there you know I'm moving the the wheel and those little suspension things start doing their job pretty good helping not to st break your little things in there so anyhow guys this is all I'm gonna be doing today so on the next video we're probably gonna get it ready to fly I just need to mess around with the trust tube. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you next fly.